Doctor Who, The Invasion, Episode 8, Aeroplane, Vaughn, you can't do that, you can't destroy the world, what about me? Planner, you are no further use to us, the cyber invasion must succeed, a bomb will be delivered. Isabel, hey, you better call. Brenton, unit, control, calling the brigadier, unit, control, calling the brigadier, over. Henlobe Downs, Bradwell. Every single one of them, not right out of the sky. Bring it in exactly as you predicted. A train reaction of explosions. Bradwell, it's fantastic. How do you do it? How do you, do you do it? Say, so, well, it's quite logical, really. Hardly any calculations needed at all, except for simple stuff like speed, angle descent, and the relative positions of the spaceships. Peters, can't we keep her on, sir? She's much better prettier than a computer. Brenton, calling the brigadier. Brigadier, quiet everyone. Brenton, unit control, calling the brigadier, over. Brigadier, yes, sergeant, what's the flap? Brig- Brenton, Col- Corporal Brenton here, sir. Brigadier, Brenton, well, what's happened to Sergeant Walters? Brenton, he's taken over the, Gen- he's taken over the Geneva link, sir. Brigadier, I- oh, I see. Well, what's the flap? Brenton, it's news from the doctor, sir. Just come through on his open channel. They're going to drop some sort of bomb. Brady, bomb? You mean the Cybermen are? Brenton, yes, sir. Something called a Cyber Megatron bomb. It's going to wipe us all out, sir. Brenton? Brady, right, Brenton. Stand by. We're on our way back. Out. We're moving out. Keep in touch, Major. We'll keep all radio communications on open network so that they know what's going on. So that you know what's going on. Bradwell, right, sir. Bring it here and keep your skinned, your eyes skinned in case they start sending any more stuff in and try and get a, f- a fix on that bomb. Bradwell, if we do, sir, we'll touch it. We, we'll try to touch it off on its approach. Obit. Bring it here, right, let's go. Vaughan office, Vaughan. But if you do... You destroy everything here, even your own Cybermen. Planner, the sacrifice will be small, Vaughan. You can't do this. I won't let you, Planner. You can't stop us. No one can. Doctor, now you're beginning to understand the Cybermen, Vaughan. You can't make bargains of them. Vaughan, I won't let them take over. I won't. You think you're indestructible. Well, I can destroy all of you. Vaughan aims what is the vice of Planner and turns it on. Planner opposition is useless to Cyberman will. Dr. Vaughan, switch it off. You blow us up all sky high. Vaughan, I destroy them all. All. The cyber planner goes boom. Vaughan, it's dead. I killed it. Destroyed it. Destroyed it. Doctor, you didn't. That didn't stop them. It's still out there in the space, preparing to destroy the world. Vaughan, five years and in less. Five years in less than five seconds. Doctor? Vaughan, listen to me. The Cybermen will deliver their bomb, the same radio beam they use for the invasion. You've got to turn it off, man. You've got to turn it off. Vaughan, what, Doctor? We are both on the same side now, both fighting for our lives. You've got to turn the radio beam off. Vaughan, the, the radio? Doctor, yes, that's how you've delivered the bomb. They'll, they'll deliver the bomb. Vaughan, the radio beam? Yes, yes, Packer must. Packer, Packer, where are you? A Cyberman appears on the monitor. Packer enters. Packer, Vaughan, you're, they have taken over. A Cyberman, they won't obey. They've killed the... They've killed... They're coming after us, Vaughan. What have you done to... What have you done to us? What have you done? A Cyberman enters. Packer keeps try shooting at it, but it's killed by a beam from its chest unit. The doctor pops up from behind the Vaughan's desk and turns Walter's device on it. A Cyberman collapses in smoke. Dada Vaughan, where is the transmitter for the radio beam? Vaughan, we can't fight them. They're too powerful. Too many of them. Doctor, oh, don't be a fool, man. Where do we where do we turn it off? Vaughan, at the compound. But they'll be there. Doctor Wright, we must stop them. Brigadier, Brigadier, this is the doctor. Can you still hear me? Airplane, Brigadier, yes, Doctor. We heard everything. What do we do? 
Doctor, there's only two possibilities. We must either cut off the transmitter the ra- at the, of the radio beam at the compound or destroy the side of man's spaceship. But how much time do we have? Doctor? Oh, I have no idea. It could be minutes or hours. Depends how long it takes them to prepare this bomb of theirs. Brigadier, well, destroying the spaceship is going to take time. Now we heard from the ca- now we heard from Captain Turner. The Russians are with us. I say it would take at least ten hours or more to get a missile that far. Doctor, that's then there's one only one chance. Radio being wait. Vaughn, now Vaughn, will you help us? You must try to get in to the controls of the radio beam. We'll never do it in time unless you help us. Vaughn's office. Vaughn, you still... Vaughn, you still think you have a chance? Doctor, yes, if you can help us. Vaughn, help you? Why should I? Doctor, well, to save us, to save yourself. Vaughn, if I survive, what future have I got? What will the world, what will the world do with me? Doctor, oh, for heaven's sake, sake. Stop thinking about yourself. Think of the millions of people on earth are about to die Vaughn appearing to my better nature. No. If I help you, it'd be because I hate you, then. So I'm in my allies. allies. You think I'm mad? That all I want is power for my own sake. No. I have to have power. The world is weak, vulnerable, mess of uncoordinated and impossible deals. It needs a strong man, a single mind, a leader. Doctor Vaughan, will you listen? Vaughan, yeah, you're right. I'll keep you, you, I hope you destroy them because I hate them. They destroyed my dream. Brigadier, Doctor? Doctor, yes, Brigadier. Brigadier, we have a chopper in the area. Can you get up to the roof? Doctor, yes, yes. I'll wait there for you. Brigadier, we'll go out. Vaughan, your friend, unit friends are very efficient. I'll lead the way. I'll lead the way to the roof. The doctor picks up Walker, Walter's device. Well, no, no, I'll take that. I say I'm regarding the radio transmitter. Does her, oh dear. Airplane. Brigadier to wing. Brigadier. Brigadier to wing commander. Goes airborne and head to the nearest airship strip to the to compound area. Red sector two. Wing commander. Wilco, Brigadier, take over, Brenton. Brenton, right, sir. Isabel, are we going to go in and help the doctor? Brigadier, ah, oh, yes. Sorry, when he'll need it if we've got to fight this way through 200 Cybermen. Brigadier, yes. I only wish we had more time to release more men from the cyber control. As 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 it will, as it is, we've only got a, a platoon. Turner? Captain Turner to unit control. Come in, unit control. Do you read me over? Right and loud and clear. Hang on, sir. Brigadier, yes. Do you read me over? Turner. Hello, sir. The Russians have fitted us a war's head to the rocket now, sir. Super cooled hydrogen device is solid fuel booster, so it's nearly ready to lift off, sir. Over. Brigadier, good, Jimmy. Sounds promising. You probably haven't got all the that. I've got all that much time. There's no, there's no reason why we shouldn't chuck everything we got at them out. Brigadier, ready to take off, sir? Brigadier, take off. Hello, Dams. Brenton, all unit personnel to fight positions. Standard fake takeoff procedure. Assault platoon. Prepare for action. ETA, 15 minutes approximately. All mobile unit groups proceed to Red Sector 2 area. I say again, all mobile unit groups proceed to Red Sector Area 2. Peters, do you think that the Russian rocket stands any chance? Bedwell, at that distance, not enough time. Peters, no, I suppose not. Bedwell, that's why those Soviet things are keeping their range. They know they're safe. Peters, but they, but you never, never know. It could take time to go to get the bomb that is ready. A Russian rocket might make it. But well, yeah, it just might. A rocket and its deadly payload off load lift off, presumably from Kerkoloskolov or somewhere similar. Aeroplane, Brenton, sir. Captain Turner reports Russian missile on its way. Brigadier, wish them luck. Now, Captain Turner will be keeping us posted. 
stage by stage. Keep listening, Brenton. Brenton, sir. Pilot, unit sector five, chopper to command over. Brenton, command here. Receiving you over. Pilot, coming in to land at compound. Red sector two. My passenger wants a word. Over. Brigadier, yes, doctor. Brigadier, uh, Brigadier. We're just coming to land at the compound. Brigadier, well, yes. Well, hang on till we get there. Get there. We'll give you support. Doctor, no, no, I'm sorry, Brigadier. Let's go in right away, otherwise it'd be too late. Brigadier, but that's madness. You can't, don't stand a chance against the side men without us. Doctor, don't worry. We have the Professor's machine. You proved to be effective, very effective so far. Brigadier, well, don't take any chances. We'll get there as soon as we can. Where should we head for? Bro- Doctor Vaughan says the transmitter controls are the old IE e. factory. That's on the east side of the compound. Dot Brigadier, right. Pilot, co- chopper, pilot to command, sir. Coming down now. Where shall I, what shall I do? Stick around? Over. Brigadier, yes, hover over them. It gives, it gives a bearing. Pilot, we'll go out. Brigadier, how long before we touch down, Brenton? Brent, Brenton, about ten minutes, sir. Brigadier, right. Get the men out as soon as we taxed it in. Brenton, right, sir. Assault platoon, prepare for action. Maintain constant communication with control on red alert frequency. Sorry, can we come with you? Brigadier, well, I don't really f- think. He's well. It'll be the last chance I get to photograph a sideman, please. Brigadier, as long as you keep out of the way, at least you'll be, at least be able to keep an eye on you this time. Factory grounds, the Doctor and Vaughan are making their way to the building. They spot the sidemen patrolling. A Vaughan readies Brookings device, but the Doctor pulls him back. Vaughan, what are you doing? We must destroy them. Doctor, we want to get to the radio transmitter control room. Sidemen don't know we're here yet. Let's keep that element of surprise. Come on, we'll tr- try down here. This time is... Now avoiding another Cyberman. But Vaughan gets it before he can fire his weapon. Doctor, now they they know we're here. Vaughan right up Vaughan right up there. We're to go over the roofs. They run up to the fire escape and lock down on the area where several Cybermen were standing. Vaughan, that's it. That's where we got to get got to get to. Down there. Factory ent- entrance. Unit and 2nd Battalion Coldstream Guards arrive. Brigadier, there's a chopper. The got us over that way. Follow me. Joel, yes, sir. Factory rooftop. Doctor, look out. Now the Cyberman gets treated with a blast of strong emotions. He tumbles over the edge of the roof and lands with a clang. Doctor, look out. Come on. A group of four Cybermen are coming their way. Doctor, is there, this the only way down? Vaughan, yes. Doctor, come on then. A Dr. Vaughan go down another ladder. Factory compound, the Brigadier, Cyberman take out cover. The army engage the enemy. Brigadier, grenades. Explosions take take out some Cybermen. Some Cybermen, but the rest keep coming, killing the soldiers. Brigadier, bazooka, this is affected too. A Dr. Vaughan can hear the prone fire. Brigadier, they come around move. More grenades and scotch bazooka fire. Brigadier, stop forward. Zoe and Isabel accompany the brigadier. She views the remains of the enemy. Brigadier, and what? That was just a dozen of them. It had meet a hundred of them. Forward, soldier forward. Isabel takes some souvenir pictures. A Dr. Vaughan comes to the building. With a small door, Vaughan. That's where the main control switch is for the radio beam. Dr. There doesn't be any Cybermen about at all. That's odd. Vaughan. Well, let's not waste time then. Vaughan goes up to a small door as three of the Cybermen come out nearby building. Doctor, look out behind you. Vaughan uses a device and takes out two of them. But the third one fires his weapon and kills him. The Doctor runs dodgily, dodging explosions for the cyber weapon. The army arrive. Brigadier. Doctor, get down. Brigadier obeys instantly. Brigadier, right, bazooka. The Cyberman is killed. Brigadier, you right, so, Doctor? Doctor, what? Yes, yes. Is it? It's it there in that building, the radio transmitter control. You've got to destroy it, Brigadier. Leave it to us forward. 
Isabel, just a second, Isabel takes a photograph of the doctor. Da -da, oh, but, oh, but I, the soldiers run past. The doctor tries to tidy himself up. Camera, Isabel, that's it. It's better. Sit still. Airplane, brigadier. And for the moment, uh, and for the moment, the crisis is over. Radio transmitter, transmitter is been destroyed, so the side man can no longer deliver their bomb. But his spaceship is sending out he said Nupix no no being signals. The world is still paralyzed. And low downs. But it is to stop these signals we have to destroy the side man's side spaceship. Peter Sir, but the end the Russians have already launched a missile. We should arrive and target properly six hours from now. By the way, what is it, Sergeant? Peters, something on the screen, moving in fast. Brady, what is it? If this is successful, Peters, look at the size of it. Brigadier, in the well we release from the cyber control, we can mobilize our forces to fight Cybermen. Bradwell, there can only be one thing, that can only be one thing, the spaceship. Brigadier, remaining on Earth. Is that the case? I like, I like all units. Bradwell, hello, unit control. Hello, unit control, heading low down, scorning. Unit Control 1, Brigadier, yes, Major. Bradwell, sorry to interrupt you, sir, but we picked up a large UFO approaching Earth. Aeroplane, Bradwell, it's standing off about 50,000 miles. Bradwell, it's standing off at about 50,000 miles outside the range, afraid, sir. Afraid, over. Sorry, they moved. Why? Brigadier, thank you, Major. Out to get Captain Turner. Brenton, yes, right, sir. Unit control, calling Captain Turner. Unit control, calling Captain Turner. Do you read me? Bring here. Why do you think they moved their spaceship so, so close, Doctor? Brenton, unit control, calling Captain Turner. Unit control, calling Captain Turner. Do you read me? Doctor, I'm not sure. Probably to try to avoid the Russian missiles or bring it down. Or deliver the bomb by other me another means. Brenton, control, calling Captain Turner, unit control, calling Captain Turner. Do you read me? Daddy, yes, I'm afraid so. You see, from where they were, let's say 230,000 30, miles out in space, the conventional missiles could deliver the bomb, so they had to come in close. So, but in moving into 50, 50,000, but in moving 50,000 miles, they come into range of Russian missiles, where it can't be moved. It'd be more than a few miles from them. From them, Turner, but it's going to, in the opposite direction. Turner, Captain Turner, here over. Brenton, here we are, oh, sir. Bring here, yes, Jimmy. Turner, oh, sir. Sorry about the delay, but we had a little bit, we had a bit of flap on here. Bring here, yes, we know. Can the Russians turn on their missile? Turner, yes, sir. Bring here. How long before it strikes? Turner, they estimate twelve. Point five minutes, sir. Brady, thank you, Jimmy. Out. That's more than enough time to, for them to deliver the bomb, move out to safety, isn't it? Daughter, yes, afraid. I'm afraid it is. Brady, yes, well, this is going to be a long 12 minutes. The clock moves for one, from 2.20 to 2.20. Six. The only sound is Brenton knocking over his tea mug. Brenton, sorry, sir. Ten low downs, Peters, there it is, the Russian bustle. Bradwell, thank heavens for all that. Thank heavens for that, I'll tell, I'll tell the unit control. Peters, ah, oh, must be the Cyberman's bomb. Bradwell, red alert, procedure, raise all missiles. Airplane, Bradwell, is in range of about 30 seconds, sir. It's travelling fast, but we stand a good chance of picking it off. Over, bring it here. How about the cyber spaceship? Is it still there? Bradwell, still there, sir. If they don't sh shift soon, the Russian missile will hit it right on the button. Brady, let's hope so. Hand low down. Peters, coming into range, sir. Bradwell, must, must go in, sir. Over now. Peters, 15 seconds. Bradwell, right. Let's get it the first time, lads. Peters, then. Ten, Peters, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Bradwell, arms the system. Peters, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Peters, he's gone, going wide. Bradwell, prepare to. Peters, turn away. It looks good. Peters, turn away, and it looks good. 
Well, well, splendid. Stand by for free. There's a case. Peter's standing by. Peter's five, ten seconds. It's on the button. It's on the button. We've done it. Very well. Hello, unit control. Hello, unit control. Henlow Downs calling. Unit control over. Peter, sir, the Russian missile is almost on top of the spaceship. I think we've got the. Go- I think we've got her. Come on, Downs. Back in the house, Professor Walters is resting with Professor Tavers. Another prophetic phonographic session. He's on the way, Isabel. Tired? Zoe, no, exhausted. Isabel, okay, you can take a breather, Zoe, thanks. Isabel, thank goodness, I don't have to do any more modelling for a living. Zoe, what is this new job of yours then? Isabel, well, because of, well, because of my photographs, Simon in action, I got an exclusive contract with Publishing Group, so I'm travelling all over the world, snapping away with my little back blocks. What will you do now? Zoe, oh, when the doctor's finished making circuits, we'll be off again, I suppose, Isabel. Where to? Zoe, we never know, we're never really sure. Turner enters. Turner, hello. Isabel. Oh, there comes my dolly soldier. Turner, cheeky. Zoe, the doctor says he's almost ready to leave. I've got the jeep outside. Zoe, oh, fine. And what about Jamie? Turner. Oh, he was all right. He's just having a checkup at the hospital. We'll pick him up on the way. Either, well, can I come with you? Turn as long as you promise not to call me your daddy soldier in front of the brigadier. Yes, come on, Zoe. Ray, come on. Field, the turn and touch raises is available to Dr. Jamie Zoe back to where the pa- part of the visible TARDIS. Isabel, here. Doctor, yes, this is fine, thank you. Turn the field. There's nothing here. Zoe, are you sure this is the place, Doctor? Doctor, yes. Yes, I am very much obliged to you, Captain. Turner, oh, goodbye. Doctor, goodbye to you. Goodbye, Isabel. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone, Come on, Jamie. They all exchange farewells, and Doctor, Zoe, Jamie go through the gate into the field proper. Isabel, why are they, they going into that field? Turner, I have no idea. Doctor, now then, where exactly do we leave it? You two try over there. The travellers spend the dark, break their arms around. Wide. A game of reverse blind men's bluff to find a TARDIS. Either what's he doing? Turn and search me. The doctor scratches his head. Devers and his elbow has disappeared. Invisibility field obviously stands a couple of inches beyond the TARDIS hysteria. He unlocks it and goes inside. He just starts up and TARDIS appears. The doctor steps outside. Sorry? There we are. All done. I'm ready to go. Bye bye. Bye. Zoe. Bye. Jimmy. Bye. Isabel, a police box. I don't believe it. Jamie, Zoe, and the doctor enter the TARDIS and it deteriorizes.